Hi pal, see me here. I'm Zena. Zena, hi. Say hello. We're in beautiful Saltine, um, which is where I've lived for about how long now? About five years, four or five years now. It's an amazing place and really strangely I found out that my ancestors were from here um, after moving here actually and at a time when there was hardly anybody living here. It's a very beautiful place. I've been having a few uh, up and downs recently, not been feeling too good at all to be honest. Um, the last couple of days I felt a lot better, a lot better. And um, Zina, are you feeling better? She was never feeling bad. <laughs> This little darling helps me a great deal. Spending time with the dogs helps me a great deal. Um, sorry about this awful corporate shite I'm wearing. I didn't buy it, I promise you. Um, anyway, nicer to look at the scenery than it is me, isn't it? I just wanted to say a couple of things um, about the situation at the moment. What's going on now with the, with the booster jabs and Boris's latest uh, shenanigans. What a depressing sight that was. <laughs> not sure what his missus has been doing to him but it's not good. Um, just completely and utterly shocking to see a man stand there and or sit there and say the things that he says with a straight face and just time and time again to see that your your brothers and your sisters in the human family falling for this every single time. It's just... Um, it's remarkable, it's remarkable. And what I've realized throughout this is how much of a spiritual war this is that's going on. It's, uh, it's not just about control, it's not just about powerful people wanting less of us on the planet, it's not just about future generations becoming uh, AI augmented uh, cyber creatures. <laughs> it's, um, it's a spiritual war going on and I think that through this time, I mean everybody's been through it, we've all been through it, we've got to understand why people have gone the way they have. Zena! On the rock pools. If I fall on my arse then <laughs> forgive me, it's a bit dodgy here. People have been studied, um, I don't like the phrase myself because I hate that industry but like lab rats. They know how to push our buttons. The likes of the Tavistock Institute. We're doing that a long time ago. You know, they perfected how to use fear to shut down rational thought, how to use this concept of menticide, which um, is only something I learned about over the last uh, year. And it's something I use as a phrase all the time. And it's basically the deliberate breaking down of somebody's rational thought patterns over time using a, um, using the, the fear of a threat, using danger, using those things that call to our kind of primal instincts of um, fight or flight, I guess. Check it out this place. That's beautiful, it's really beautiful. It's just so, so beautiful. Um, Tina likes this bit. There's a, like a little pigeon cave I'll show you up here that she likes to go and inspect. Tina, you going to the pigeon cave? Yes, yes I am, please. Um, whoa, 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 see, I told you I'd dike it. Anyway, the, the likes of the Tavistock, they know how to push our buttons. They've used the likes of Sage. It's, to me, that's kind of a, a modernized version of the Tavistock where they use behavioral psychology to manipulate the masses. And it's been done so well. And getting back to the point of what I'm saying is that we, there's Pigeon Cave. Hi guys. I'd like to live in there with the pigeons, maybe I will one day after the apocalypse, which I'll get onto. <laughs> but anyway, so they know how to push our buttons. When we see these people queuing up in their masks, when we see them getting really angry at us and they think that we are putting them at danger. Zena! When they think we're putting them at danger, we've got to understand that this is a powerful evil force that is doing this, that understands humanity. It's not something that's happened overnight, it's something that's been programmed into people over their lifetimes. And we're the lucky ones to see through it. Doesn't always feel too lucky, does it? To be an outsider, to feel completely lost at times, to think that people hate you because you just want to stand strong and don't want to accept any medical intervention from a company that's paid billions. I keep going on about that, but 
all people need to do is look at these companies and look at what they've been responsible for and the money that they've paid out and just realize why on earth would you want anything to do with them and why on earth would you accept what they have to say and why on earth would any benevolent government mandate their products on all the population including children when children don't even suffer from this stuff it's just it's mad and that's the point is the point is it's a mental illness that has taken over society they want to suggest that we are the mentally ill ones whereas actually it's the masses it's always the masses that cause the problems it's always how they do it in tyrannies. I always thought that tyrannies came in, a jackfruit dictatorship would be there, would be, come on, you've got to do this, you've got to do that. And that comes, but really the weapon, the powerful weapon, is using people against people, getting people to enforce things on each other. And that's where we are. So I want to get to a point where, I've just watched a video where a load of lads up north and women, maskies versus non-maskies, having this massive kickoff on the train. It ended up in fisticuffs, it ended up in a man hitting a woman. Just horrible, horrible scenes. And it's just, you look at it and you think, my poor human family, what has become of you that we are in this situation that we're in? It's so sad to see. But we don't have to be part of that. What I want to say is that my life's been absolutely demolished by aspects of this in ways, you know, many people have suffered a great deal more than I have, I'm sure but the fallout from what has happened has impacted me so badly I could spend my whole life really angry at these people for allowing it to happen but I understand where it comes from I, know, I can see that manipulative force and really we've got to do all we can to try and be to try and get on you know? if we don't get on, if we fall out, if we rise to each other when we go in a shop and someone gives a shit for not wearing a mask if we rise to it and get angry and aggressive we're just playing into it We've got to feel pity for these people and just understand where it comes from and just try not to allow humanity to fall into scenes where there's men punching women on trains over a mask for a new type of moronic Omicron virus which has allegedly killed one person and it's just, it's shocking. Anyway, back to the main thrust. Realise you're in a spiritual war. Realise that you standing up against it and this dark force here is something pretty special. Understand that there's something in you that's different, that's allowed you to see through this. And instead of being angry at everyone else, like I was for a while, be proud at yourself. Be proud at yourself, pal. Be proud of what you've managed to do, what you've managed to achieve. It's not easy to stay strong when you're being blackmailed, threatened, called a granny killer, called a murderer, this, that and the other. Excuse me, on the white rocks, this is my favourite bit of the walk here. Hey, Zena! Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely love it. Um, because there's more to come. This is just a, this is just a taste, guys. But when you realise it's a spiritual war, and you try and find, you realise you're playing a part in that, and you try and find a relationship with God or Jesus, as I'm doing at the moment after rejecting it for many years, you start to realise that it's more than you and me. It's something so much bigger than any of us. And to be part of that on the side of good, knowing what we know now from being able to predict everything that's happened. For a while you probably were a bit, am I right about this? Is the things that I'm talking about, could they actually be hurting people? Everyone seems to think so. But now that you can see how it's played out, you understand that it's a dark versus light sort of battle going on. There's some very weird, odd, demonically influenced people on this planet and they are driving this. And just be separate to it in these days. Instead of focusing too much on it all, yes, we've got to fight back against it. Yes, we've got to raise awareness, all the rest of it. Just get right with God. Just be good. Be as good as you can. I'm not a bloody good person all the time. I uh, make a lot of mistakes. I'm a sinner. But now, more than ever, all I want to do is be a good person. And in the face of all of the darkness, all of this crap, I just want to be better and be stronger and make nicer decisions and be kinder to people. And that's that's being kinder to people is the people that are causing this as well everything that we do we've got to try and be peaceful try and be full of love and understanding and yes we've got to fight it there's a nice phrase which is it's better to be a um, warrior, warrior in a garden than a gardener on a battlefield and I think there's mad times to come but they're gonna throw everything at us there's much more to come it's not just about viruses no viruses masks vaccine passports there is a lot coming we are living an incredible time to be here with eyes to see. This is just a small, this is just the opening scenes in my eyes. I think we're heading towards major changes, cataclysmic events on earth, 
the, the powers that have been are all about, they know the madness that is coming. You know, you just have to look at the seismic activity around the world. You just have to look at a situation like La Palma. I don't know, I'm the boy who cried wolf on that one a little bit, but I still think there's some mad stuff to come from that direction. So what am I saying? Don't just look at it as this one particular fight. Look at it as a larger thing. Understand that the new world order is, it's not just about vaccines and mandates. It's about something much bigger than that. It's about control of your soul. And how do you break away from control of your soul? You get right with God, you pray, you give your troubles to God, and you do everything you can in these times to be the antithesis of what is happening. So if they do dark shit, you do light shit. And again, in case anyone says you're a Freemasonic, Luciferian freak, I just mean goodness, find the goodness, be a good person. That's what the system hates. They don't want you to be connecting with people. They don't want you to be solving your differences. I feel really sorry for a lot of the people that have had these jabs. I really hope it's not true, but I think there's some dark days ahead for them. I want to be in a position of sorrow about that and understanding why that they've come to be like this. And I just want to be part of the peace on this world, not part of more aggro, not part of more bullshit and division. I don't think there's a great amount of time left before things go really crazy. I think we need to pray, we need to get close to God, we need to find a spiritual response to all of this. Because that's where it lies, this is a spiritual warfare, every little bit of it. So your response should lie in the spiritual dimension, in my personal humble opinion. Anyway, that's enough from me wabbering on. Bloody hell, 11 minutes I can talk. What a stupid beard. Zena, over and out.